shall we? Come on! Well, in the 60s, one of the most uh, iconic television series of the air aired on NBC was The Man from UNCLE. And for years now, uh, Hollywood has tried to figure out a way to bring this to the big screen now. And smartly, they haven't tried to update it as a contemporary film, but have left it in the era that it was set, the era when James Bond came to life. Well, now Henry Cavill, best known as Superman, has teamed with Army Hammer, and he's playing Ilya Kuryakin with a perfect uh, Russian accent. I'll let you tag along, but it's in and out, no mess, and we both forget about in the morning. This is not the Russian way. These guys are great together as Napoleon Solo and Ilya Kuryakin. This is really an origin story. We learn how they first came together really to thwart a plot by these uh, World War II fascists in Italy. Well, uh, this assignment takes them to East Berlin uh, to a woman, uh, Gabby Teller, played deliciously by Alicia Vikander. Anyway, this is the basic premise, but the fun of this movie, as under the direction of Guy Ritchie, uh, is in your face, bright colors, return to the swinging 60s, and these two guys have a great chemistry. Absolutely hate working with you, Peril. You're a terrible spy, cowboy. Really fun dialogue. Uh, it's kind of like Butch and Sundance in the form of the man from Uncle. I really had a good time at this movie. I think you will too, particularly if you're baby boomers who remember the original series. It's been very faithful to the spirit of the man from Uncle, and I think it's been worth all the years that it's taken to get to the big screen. They've gotten it right. It's a lot of fun. Nothing more, but nothing less. I say, go.